Hi, back again. So we are continuing to work on the test and analysis worksheet. Um, in this video, what we're going to do is actually put in an equation here for the number of successful students or the sum of the total credits for a given particular test item. So just to kind of recap where we are. Um, the previous two videos, we put together some headings here for the test item analysis data. We've got a key over here that describes what each one of these particular items represents. And then in the most recent video, we took the test scores, there's the student IDs or student names, and we took those test scores, if we go scroll down the bottom, and we've arranged them so highest at the right and lowest at the bottom. And of course, you could do it vice versa if you wanted the highest at this end and lowest at that, at that end, it doesn't really matter. The other thing we did is we put a border in here to kind of delineate the top third scoring students from the bottom third scoring students. The middle is actually not going to have any effect on the discrimination index. Okay? So that's where we are at this point. Now the next thing is to go ahead and put in a formula for the number of successful students for all the multiple choice items and the sum of all the credits for the partial credit items. So if you recall, when we put the data into the um, spreadsheet, we would put a, no or a letter in there for the choice that the student might have gone for or might have chosen and left a blank if it was correct. And we want to know those that are correct or the number of correct examples or number of correct um, answers. So we're going to go ahead and do a count. So I'm going to click into this cell right here. I'm going to say equals and I'm going to write count blank. You know, as soon as I start writing count or typing in count there, um, I'll get some options and this is what I'm looking for is that count blank. So I'll just go ahead and click on it. I just double clicked by the way. Double clicked on that count blank and now it's looking for a range. And so in other words, where am I going to do the count blank from? So I'm going to go ahead and choose from here all the way across to this next um, cell. So it actually goes from C6 to L6. So I can just check across the top. I see C6 to L6 is what I want and just let go of it. And I can just go ahead and hit return. And it's counted up the number of blanks or another number of correct answers for that particular item. And if you can go back and just check one, two, three, four, you can see that's the number of successful items. So if I click back into that cell, I go up here and just take a look at that formula, make sure it's correct, it does look good. And now to go ahead and take that formula, I can just go ahead and fill it into all these other multiple choice questions that happen to fall after that question number one. So the way I do that is I can click on here and I'm just going to go ahead and click and hold and drag down to the bottom to item number 20. And now I'm going to say fill down. And that particular uh, formula has now been inserted in each and every single one of these cells. And as I click it up and down, as I'm going to these different spots, you can see it keeps the column C to L, but it, of course it just changes what row you're in. Okay, So we're good there. Now the last thing is I just need a sum of the credits for each one of these particular items. So from this item number 16, which is a total of five credits, it's pretty simple. I'm going to click on that cell. I'm going to type first the equal sign. As soon as I hit the equal sign, it's going to look for a formula. I'm going to say sum. As soon as I start typing sum, you'll get some options, and there is the sum. I'll double click on that, and it's just looking for the range. So I'm going to go ahead and click from that particular cell and just drag across to the last cell that I want in that particular sum. And just hit return. And now that's giving me the sum of all the credits in that particular row for that particular item. Same thing as this equation we seen going way down, so I'm just going to click on that cell and I'm going to now click and hold and drag down and I'll say up here at the top, fill down. And I can go ahead and just check those formulas. If I click on this particular cell, it should say, and if I look up here in the formula bar, it's a sum of C22 to L22. So here's C22 and there is L22 and it looks good. Okay. So there's the, uh, there's the formulas for now the number of successful students for any multiple choice question and the sum of the credits for any partial credit items.